What's going on everybody? Justin here with Alpha Wash. And I want to show you today the chemicals that we use for pressure washing. I got the board right here behind me. So I'm gonna write some stuff down on it. So we're gonna, you'll have to excuse my handwriting because it is, because it is not the best, but hopefully y'all can read it. All right, chemicals for pressure washing. And before I start listing them, I just wanna go ahead and throw this out there. So none of these companies are paying us. This is just what we have found over time works best for us. And when we get into certain scenarios, we go back to these same chemicals that have worked for us in the past. So I'm gonna grab a new marker and I'm gonna show you what we use. All right, so we're gonna start off with rust. So the first thing that we use is for rust stains. And it isn't something that we use super often, but when we do run across some rust stains, it's what we use. So we're just gonna write rust. And we use Ethnon Bark for rust. Um, that product works great for us. And then we're gonna go with Red clay stains. All right, for red clay stains, there's about three different chemicals that we have had success with during different instances. So the first one is NMD80, and that stands for New Masonry Detergent, and uh, that is made by EcoChem, I believe. And that's for fresher clay stains, like new construction cleanup and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and write that for one. All right, number two is the EcoChem One Restore. And this chemical can get off stains that have been on there quite a long time. Um, it seems to work better on stains that have been baked on by the sun. So the second one, one restore. And that is made by EcoChem. And the third one, and this one works awesome as well, it's just a little bit more expensive than the top two, is F9 Eflo. And that's their efflorescence remover. Um, and also, I guess I'm gonna add four because also we've done some house trailers in the past and they'll have red clay stains around the bottom of them. And we actually use just aluminum brightener on those and you can get that at any parts house or anything. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's just an acid base. So you definitely need an acid, acidic base to get off orange stains like rust, clay, and things like that. So aluminum brightener. And then, of course, the one everybody already knows. For soft washing, we use sodium hypochlorite. And we use 12.5% SH. So the next thing we use is a surfactant and that goes into our sodium hypochlorite and helps it cling to the areas that we're spraying on. And we tried a few different ones. Uh, we found two that we really like. So we're gonna write surfactant right here. We're gonna put one, two, All right, so these are the two surfactants we use. Number one is slow-mo, and I'm not sure who makes it, but you can just Google slow-mo and spell it S-L-O-M-O, -O, and it'll pull it up for you. And the second one is Eliminator. We used it um, to begin with, and then we just recently started using this one for 2021. And we definitely like this one because you don't have to use as much. It's super, super concentrated. So you definitely save some money there using the slow-mo. And I know some guys don't use surfactant at all. We like surfactant. Um, I just feel like it prevents runoff. So slow-mo, 
and eliminator. That's the two surfactants we use. So we do some restaurants like on a monthly basis and, and most of that's like grease buildup uh, on their sidewalks and dumpster pads and things like that. So for that, we use a caustic degreaser and there's a local uh, company in our area called Etowah Chemical Company and they make the degreaser that we use. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a caustic degreaser, so it's pretty strong. We definitely have to wear gloves when we're doing it, but um, that's what we use for that, so. Degreaser. Caustic. And something else that you can do if you do a lot of restaurants, I've did this in the past, but um, we kind of got away from it. Not sure why. I'm sure as we start to do more restaurants, we'll probably start doing this again because you can definitely save a lot of money doing it. But you can get a 50 pound bag of lye or sodium caustic beads and, and basically mix that with water and make about 65 gallons of really strong degreaser and you could add a little Dawn to it and that'll give it some suds and help it foam off a little bit. But uh, that can save you a lot of money. You can get 65 gallons of super strong degreaser and have about maybe 50, 55 bucks in it or something like that. So we're gonna write right here for degreaser, 50 pound of lye. So we got red clay stains, rust, what we use for soft washing, our degreaser and our surfactant. And that's pretty much all the chemicals we use. Uh, we don't really do much window cleaning. so. We don't need anything for that, and we don't really do any gutter brightening, so we don't need anything for that. So, hope y'all can find some value in this. If y'all like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you'll get a notification every time we post, and we'll catch y'all later.